Now, it's important to note that psychedelics are not the only things that reduce activity in the default mode network. There are many other things, including meditation, breathing exercises like holotropic breathwork, sensory deprivation, fasting, prayer, overwhelming experience of awe, extreme sports, near-death experiences, all of these also have been found to decrease activity in the default mode network. So psychedelics work by decreasing activity in the default mode network, which has been found to increase brain activity, increase brain entropy, increase general intelligence, and decrease the formation of mental constructs, including the mental construct we refer to as the self, resulting in the ability to perceive more details in the world, but also requiring more energy. Many other activities do result in the reduction of activity in the default mode network. There's no doubt that in the near future, we'll continue to learn more about these substances. But for right now, I hope you have a better baseline understanding of the neuroscience behind how psychedelics work.